What's next for AI and Google search? For years, Google has been the undisputed leader in the internet search market. However, this position has recently been threatened by the arrival of AI models capable of giving you information in a conversational, direct, and concise way. If you want to search for something on Google, you have to look through its websites, while AIs like ChatGPT are trained to give you a direct answer. Well, that's about to change. Say goodbye to the traditional way of searching the internet. Say hello to the new search experience that answers you back. As we have already seen with ChatGPT and Copilot. Bard is joining the ranks of artificial intelligence that is reshaping the way we get information. Bard is an experimental conversational AI service that pushes the boundaries of dialogue apps. Powered by Lambda, language model for dialogue applications, Bard aims to combine the vastness of global knowledge with the intelligence of large linguistic models. Lambda now takes center stage as Bard, offering fresh, high-quality answers by extracting real-time information from the web, unlike other platforms such as ChatGPT, which has not updated its its data since 2021. But what sets BARD apart from its competitors? The way it retrieves information is a game changer. Let's explore some of BARD's features that make it a formidable competitor. BARD Extensions Google keeps upgrading BARD's features, with the latest one being BARD Extensions that offers a seamless integration with Google Workspace, allowing users to export responses directly to Google Docs and Gmail without the need for manual copying and pasting, providing a convenient and efficient way to transition from content creation to drafting. This AI-powered tool will get the dates that work for everyone from Gmail. Look up real-time flight as well as hotel details. Send Google Maps directions to the airport. Provide YouTube videos of things to do there. In addition, it will also be extended to third-party applications and services. So far, Kayak, OpenTable, Spotify, Indeed, Walmart, among others, are confirmed. Also, they have recently improved their integration with YouTube, which is reaching new heights. From handling complex queries to synthesizing information from videos, Bard's usefulness is expanding. Expanding. Assistant with BARD. This tool allows users to interact using text, voice, or images. For instance, if you have a picture of your puppy for a social media post but struggle with creating captions, you can use Assistant with BARD. By overlaying the tool on the photo and requesting a quick social media post, the AI will analyze the image and generate a contextual caption, offering a unique and innovative approach not previously attempted by any brand. The tool acts as a versatile assistant, responding to user inputs in various forms and providing tailored assistance, particularly in content creation scenarios. 3. Google it. G button. When a user clicks on the G icon following a result, Bard examines the response and checks for comparable content across the web to validate it. To gain insights into similar content through Google search, users can click on the highlighted phrases. Additionally, Bard allows users to share a chat using a public link, enabling others to continue the conversation. The recipient of the shared link can pose additional questions to Bard on the given topic, facilitating an ongoing exchange of information. This feature enhances the reliability of BARD's responses and promotes collaborative exploration of topics among users. In addition to the implementation of BARD, the traditional Google search engine is also being revolutionized through its new search generative experience that gives you more modular and dynamic results, showing different panels of information depending on what we are looking for. Let's show the example they used in the presentation. The user is looking for a bicycle for a five-mile uphill ride. BARD returns results based on the characteristics requested by the user even generating a text with the keys that the buyer provided in their search, in addition to other Google Shopping data such as price, ratings, and more. Now let's compare two titans of the AI world, Google Bard and ChatGPT. Both have transformed how we work, but are they really equals? Let's find out. In the ongoing debate about whether ChatGPT or Bard is the superior AI tool, several factors come into play, shaping users' preferences based on their specific needs. ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI, has been a transformative force since its release in November 2022, providing users with an AI-powered chatbot capable of engaging in human-like conversations and creative thinking. Its versatility allows it to generate content ranging from poems, emails, and blogs to code debugging and problem-solving, offering a broad spectrum of applications. When comparing the two, the type of large language models (LLMs) they use becomes a significant factor. While BARD operates on the Palm 2 architecture, ChatGPT relies on the Transformer architecture. BARD's real-time data extraction contributes to more current and contextually accurate conversations, giving it an advantage in terms of up-to-date information. The accessibility and pricing model also play a role in users' preferences. Bard
Discord is available for free in more languages and countries compared to ChatGPT, which offers a paid subscription model for additional features. Bard's ability to connect with Google Apps seamlessly and its extensions, pulling real-time information from various Google services, further extend its utility. Additionally, Bard's ability to retrieve images from the web and leverage Adobe Firefly for image generation enhances its versatility. Clicking on an image in Bard opens the corresponding web page in a new browser tab, offering a streamlined experience. On the other hand, while ChatGPT can generate AI images using DALL-E 3 for users with a paid subscription, it lacks the ability to retrieve images from the web. Both Bard and ChatGPT can analyze images with prompts, but Bard extends this functionality for free. Furthermore, Bard's use of Bard extensions facilitates real-time access to information from various Google apps, enabling tasks such as finding cheap flights or extracting details from Gmail, all within the chat interface, showcasing its practical approach to seamless connectivity with other applications. In essence, the choice between ChatGPT and Bard depends on the user's priorities, whether they prioritize a wide range of creative capabilities and personalized inputs, or lean towards real-time, contextually relevant information in a conversational setting. Both tools have their strengths, and the decision ultimately hinges on the user's specific use case and preferences. Now, whether you've opted for ChatGPT or Bard, here are five guidelines for getting good responses from chatbots. One, begins with action verbs such as write, summarize, analyze, compare, design. Two, clarify the format of response you want. For example, table, list, bullets, summary. Three, assign a role at the beginning of the request, such as influencer, teacher, journalist, web developer. Four, specify the target audience. For example, elementary school children or managers. Five, indicate constraints and style, such as responding poetically, using a formal tone or consulting scientific sources. With these five guidelines, you are ready to get information like an expert. If you want to explore Bard, just go to bard.google.com. Remember, it's completely free. As we conclude our journey into the heart of AI innovation, one thing is clear. Google Bard has ushered in a new era of search capabilities. Will it surpass ChatGPT? The answer may lie in your preferences and needs. Stay tuned for more updates on the ever-evolving world of artificial intelligence here on Felix Media. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the latest tech insights. Until next time.